and breaking news into us right here at the mountain. When your dad's Mike Wallace, the term garage takes on a whole new meaning. All right, it's short track racing time, and that means Bristol. Check this out. I'm actually sitting inside Elliot's car, the one that he won the pole in in the spring in the ladies and the men's bracket. Come on, they also won the title outright in football. Is that good for the conference? Three Lobos will be missing their team's New Mexico Bowl appearance. Linebacker Justin Clayton, tight end Clayton Cardenas, and starting defensive end Michael Tui were all suspended Friday. Day three, the big dance taking center stage this afternoon. So how are your brackets doing? If you played it safe, you're probably still pretty good. Air Force wrapped up their 2006 campaign with four straight losses. And in a surprise move, just three weeks after their season ended, head coach Fisher DeBerry stepped down after 23 years in Colorado Springs. All right, TGIF? Maybe, but at the Winter Games, it's TGFS. Thank goodness for snowboarding. It's dominating in these Winter Games with three gold and three silver medals all in snowboarding events. And the man who grabbed the first of those goals for the U.S. in the half pipe joins me now. Sean White, better known as the Flying Tomato, back stateside. This is a Mountain Special Report. Welcome into the studios of the Mountain for a live breaking news event. New Mexico's head coach, Richie McKay's contract at the university will be terminated at the end of this season. He's once danced on the star, and now it appears he'll be wearing one. But the things that people will remember are things like the 14 Commander-in-Chief trophies. Most of the drivers and the crews already heading to Chicago. The NASCAR Nation, oh yeah, we're already here. And we have the inside scoop. The road has been rocky, but this year, first year head coach Chuck Long is doing all he can do to share his knowledge and his love of the game with this team, his team. We all know it's a work in progress. Are you ready? We're about to unveil the mystery man beneath the Wyoming mascot. And he's a very remarkable man. Not only is he an elementary education major, a big brother, and his school's mascot, he's also a man willing to leave all of that in order to serve his country. About 40 pounds. All right, I need to work on my weightlifting because this is a little heavy. Snowboarding, not just an X Games sport anymore. It's pretty mainstream nowadays. The U.S. dominating in these winter games with three gold and three silver medals all in snowboarding events. And the man who grabbed the first of those goals for the U.S. in the half pipe joins me now. Sean White, better known as the Flying Tomato, back stateside with an Olympic gold. Hey, Sean, welcome to Headline News. Hey, thanks for having me. All right, let's get right down to it. You're a guy that's pretty familiar with winning, that's for sure. You've got six <laughs> career medals from the X Games and now an Olympic gold. So really, how did the two compare for you? I mean, honestly, it was it was a, a huge change. All right, well, I hear you actually may have the Olympic medal with you. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, yeah, it looks like I, a I big gold it. Cheerio. I saw you chewing on it there in the video. There's chocolate in the center. It's no big deal. It's chocolate in the center. All right. Well, yeah, growing yeah. up, I heard you were definitely not alone on the slopes. I heard your training was a family affair, quite literally. Now, tell me if this mm -hmm. is true. Your mom and your dad both know how to snowboard? Well, that was the thing that, that made it so cool is the whole family was snowboarding. All right. Now let's go to your nickname. we got to talk about it, the Flying Ooh, Tomato. Now, everybody thinks motto. it came from your high-flying acrobatics on the slopes, but I actually did some research, and it has something to do with an airport, so give us the goods. Well, we, I was on the, um, the Tony Hawk Gigantic Skate Park Tour. All right. Well, this gold has certainly put you in the media spotlight, kind of instant fame, and you even landed mm. a seat on the Jay Leno Show. That's pretty cool. What was that like? I have to be, be patient with our guys and make sure we have systems to learn. We're still learning those. You know, offensively speaking, for example, we have, we don't have a lot of game experience on the offensive side of the ball. And we're, we're, we need to gain that. But it is tough. You know, I, I don't sleep very well after losses and, and I don't really sleep very well after wins. That's a voice of experience. Enshrined in the College Football Hall of Fame, Chuck Long has done it all. As a quarterback, he led his Iowa Hawkeyes to a Big Ten title in 1985, and those winning ways punched his ticket to the NFL. The pinnacle of his young career, though, came in 2000. As an assistant at Oklahoma, he won the national championship, giving him yet another tool to motivate his team today. It's, it's big, you know, when he comes in past that ring round and we all see it. I mean, it's, it's a motivational thing, you know. Guys want to get there, and guys, and when, he, when he's been there, I told him from the very first meeting, if, if, if you want one of these, we're going to put you on that path to get one. It's going to take a lot of hard and diligent work. Hard work and Chuck Long almost seem one and the same. Coaching at San Diego State is now a chance to give his players some of the experience he's gained. A coach also sees there's much more than just what happens on the field. As coaches expect so much from them, and when you have to take a deep breath, say, wait a minute, they're 18 years old and they don't have football all day long. I mean, they have a 
another life out there. And that's important to me. I, I want them to, you know, the academics obviously is important, but I want them to have a little bit of a social life too. So I spent a great deal of time with them outside of football and just talking to them about their family, about their goals and aspirations and life in general with no X's and O's added to it. I mean, he's a big players coach. He gets along with all his players. He knows all his players well. He's always joking with them. You know, always around them. He really wants to know how they feel about things and outside of football, you know, life and everything, you know. So, I mean, I, I, I love the guy. You know, I like playing for him and everything he's done here. He's one of the best football coaches I've ever had and I think he's a great guy, a great role model to the teammates. And, um, I think he will bounce back. A new chapter in the life of Chuck Long. From player to assistant to head coach. Football is his life, and it's always been that way. The experiences that he's had give him the insight to see what really matters. Football's the game that's played on the field. Whole life is what happens off of it. The beauty of football is it it's all starts off clean the, the next day. You know, the, ne the Sunday you wake up, sun comes up, it's a clean week. That's the best thing about football, and I've never felt like one game carries over to the next game. Um, and that's, that's my job as a head coach to make sure it doesn't happen that way.